In this episode of Cobb TV, we are going to talk about the drummer Tommy Ramone and why he rocks. Now, not only is Tommy Ramone one of my favorite drummers and definitely one of the drummers who is most influential to me, but he also is probably my favorite person who has ever worked in the music industry. You see, the music business is a business. And if you want to make it in the music business, you might have to put on different hats. You might have to do more than just play an instrument. Now, Tommy Ramone was not just the drummer for the Ramones in the early days. He also helped co-produce the first three albums that he played on, as well as the one after that. He was the band's manager before he was even the drummer and continued to manage from behind the drum set. And he also wrote a few songs for the Ramones and one of them is Blitzkrieg Bop. But let's talk about how the Ramones started. The Ramones' vision was to capture some of those short, catchy pop songs that they grew up listening to in the 60s and combine hard rock elements with that. The thing is, is at the time, the rock music that they were listening to were a little bit excessive to them. It was about technicality on the instruments and long seven minute songs. And the Ramones wanted to bring back the short, poppy, catchy songs, but still keep some hard rock elements. And so that was their vision when first starting out. Tommy actually was brought on to be the manager for the band at first. And Dee Dee was the singer, but he realized he couldn't sing and play bass at the same time. So he just switched to bass, but would continue to count off the tempos. And Tommy actually encouraged Joey to start singing, but Joey was the drummer. And Joey couldn't simultaneously sing and play drums, as well as keep up with the quick tempos that they were trying to achieve. So Joey went to the singer, and then Tommy, being the manager, started organizing all these drummers to show up for auditions. And when the drummers couldn't play what they were looking for, Tommy would sit down and show the drummers how to play and what to play on the drum set. Until one day, no drummers were there to show up, and it was a unanimous decision that no one could play the drums for the Ramones better than Tommy Ramone. And that's how he became the drummer, and he continued to manage. And being a manager is a big job. The Beatles probably wouldn't have made it half as far as they did if it wasn't for Brian Epstein. One of the things Brian told the Beatles to do is put on the suits, to have their haircuts the same, and so on and so forth. Just look up what a manager does for a band. It's a lot. They have to be organized. They have to schedule everything. It, like I said, it's a whole nother job entirely. And Tommy Ramone continued to manage the Ramones from behind the drum kit, as well as co-produce the first three Ramones album that he drummed on. And that's one thing that I think makes him a unique drummer is that he knows what sounds good from a listener standpoint. That's what makes a good producer. If you're going to be a good producer, you have to know what sounds good. And Tommy knew what sounded good, and I think that contributed to what he would do behind the drum set. Let's talk about his drumming style for a little bit. So one thing he would do is he would accent the cymbal in different parts. He would accent specific chord changes. A lot of drummers, they'll just play the crash cymbal when leading into the chorus or when leading into the verse. Sometimes Tommy wouldn't do that. Sometimes he would use the crash cymbal more musically, like in Blitzkrieg Bop. I've heard so many drummers play that a lot differently and it doesn't sound as good. Again, back to knowing what sounds good. Blitzkrieg Bop is the Ramones' most popular song, and Tommy Ramone is the primary writer on that one. He is able to play the quick tempos the Ramones needs at a steady pace. The job of the drummer is to keep a steady beat, and he keeps the beat steady, and they're playing fast. And when we watch Tommy play, his wrist is just super fast. It's so crazy to watch. And he's relaxed when he plays, he has decent posture, and there's another drummer who I've seen play with the similar wrist technique, and that's Dave Lombardo of Slayer. And that makes sense because Slayer is a thrash metal band, and one of the elements in thrash metal is punk rock. So it's safe to assume that the Ramones definitely influenced Slayer, and Dave Lombardo was probably influenced by Tommy Ramone. And again, all the power and speed just coming straight from the wrist. And another thing about 
Tommy Ramones style that really contributed to the Ramones' music is during their bridges, a lot of times he would contrast that steady stream of eighth notes that he was playing on his right hand and go to the bell symbol and play quarter notes on the bell. In Blitzkrieg Bop he does that and in Havana Affair he does that and a fun fact about the bridge in Havana Affair is that it's in 6-4 time. So I know there's people out there who love the unusual time signature stuff. Havana Affair, the bridge, 6-4 time signature. Those are just a few things about what makes Tommy Ramone so awesome and what makes him rock. He also wrote I Want to Be Your Boyfriend, which is one of my favorites on the self-titled album. And again, manager, producer, and just awesome guy. So please give this video a like for Tommy Ramone and please subscribe. Consider subscribing if you like hearing about drummers that people aren't really talking about much that really contributed a lot. Tommy definitely helped pave the way for the Ramones' sound and style, and he did a lot to get the band off the ground and into the stratosphere. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.